we designed this telescope to see the very first galaxies that turned on in the universe. And when we saw what it did in only 12 hours, we knew in our hearts that whatever's out there, we're going to see it. Have you ever laid back on a grassy field in the countryside just to look up above into the star-studded sky? Well, if you ever have, then I bet you probably admired the beauty of it and thought to yourself, how old are those faraway stars, or even how old is our universe? Questions just like these have been leaving our scientists baffled for a very long time, and whenever they seem to have the correct answer, someone or something proves them completely wrong just like the recent discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope. But these new discoveries have such a huge significance that they're forcing most scientists to look at our universe from a completely different perspective. Did our universe really start with the Big Bang, or is it just infinitely old with no starting point at all? Let's dive deep into the topic and discuss the question which has left most cosmologists perplexed. The James Webb Telescope is considered as the most powerful space telescope to date. It contains a much larger primary mirror, which has six times more light-gathering power than the Hubble Telescope, which was once considered a marvel meant to revolutionize astronomy. What else makes it even more powerful than other telescopes is the ability to look into the immeasurable void of deep space and pick up infrared radiations much more than ever before. But what makes these radiations so important for extraterrestrial discovery? Well, infrared rays are basically signatures of heat left behind by any object, and they have a much longer wavelength than visible light. How does this make them important, you might ask? Well, considering the amount of dust and other minor particles scattered throughout the universe, most stars and planets are completely enclosed in cocoons of dust, shielding the visible light from passing through. The shorter wavelength of visible light causes them to get trapped in huge clouds of stellar dust, obscuring our vision entirely. But if we shift our focus towards the infrared rays, their longer wavelength helps them pass through these dust clouds, making the faraway universe much more visible than ever before. The James Webb Telescope covers the wavelength of 0.6 micrometers to 28 micrometers, making it possible to look 13.5 billion years back in time and give us the images of the first galaxies ever formed. No wonder it's also known as a cosmic time machine. If we try to look furthest away into deep space, we can only see up to 45 billion light years away. This distance is known as the Hubble radius. It is also considered as the observable region of the universe. And as we know, the universe is constantly expanding. So in accordance to that, you might think that the Hubble sphere will continue to grow indefinitely, right? Well, that is not the case. You see, there is a margin after which we might not be able to gaze beyond, and that is because of the acceleration of the expansion of our universe. Meaning, not only is it expanding, its rate of expansion is also increasing as time passes. So if the rate of expansion is greater than the speed of light, then the light from faraway galaxies and stars would never be able to reach us, making it impossible to observe them. Now, the next question that comes to mind is how big is our entire universe? Well, the simple answer is we don't know. We simply don't have enough information and it could be possible that we might never really know, or it could just be infinite after all. But some theoretical cosmological studies suggest that it can be at least 250 times greater than our observable universe. This number is so great that it cannot be comprehended easily. In estimation, it is 10 raised to the power of 10 raised to the power of 10 raised to the power of 122. Yes, you heard it right. Now comes the main issue regarding the size of our universe. The uniform distribution of matter in our universe and the isotropic distribution of temperature in the cosmic microwave background radiation suggest that our universe might actually be infinite. So which one is it? 
Is it a huge, finite amount, or is it truly infinite? When we look far away into the cosmic void and focus onto a distant galaxy, we are not looking at it as it is right now. Instead, we are looking at an image of which has traveled millions or even billions of years to get to our extraordinary telescopes. You see, these galaxies are so far away that the light and radiation they emit travel for literally years throughout space before reaching us. Hence, the term light year is used. So, for example, if we would look at an image of the Andromeda Galaxy, which is 2.5 million light years away from us, we would be seeing its 2.5 million year old picture because that's how long the light took to get to us. Now, I'm sure you're thinking the same thing as I am. Why don't we use this as a form of time travel and venture back into the past to see the birth of our universe? Well, it isn't that simple. According to our standard cosmological model, around 14 billion years ago, the entirety of our universe was compressed into a tiny, infinite point known as the singularity. But that can only be right if our universe is finite, and as of now, it seems that it might actually be infinite after all. And in the case of an infinite universe, the Big Bang would have happened not to a point, but all over the infinite universe, everywhere at the same time. So this means that the first galaxies to form didn't come into being in a particular region of space, but everywhere throughout the infinite universe. This could explain that singularity isn't just a point from which all matter came, but it's an infinite place where everything everywhere came into existence 13.8 billion years ago. Now, this might explain the obscure nature of our universe to a good extent, but like I mentioned at the start, there always might be something that causes us to rethink everything and start back from scratch. Remember the discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope? New images from it are actually testing the age of the universe entirely. And these images are not really fitting into the Big Bang model, which proves that our universe is 13.8 billion years old. So, are we going to discard the Big Bang model entirely? Well, let's talk about that in a bit more depth. You see, at the end of 2022, the most distant galaxy ever believed to be was Sears 93316, but further studies prove that it was just a nearby galaxy highly reddened by a dust cloud, giving it that false perception. But recently, we have another contender for the oldest galaxy to form. It is named F2OODB-045. A candidate high redshift galaxy which completely shatters our understanding of the universe. The redshift of this galaxy is a monstrous Z20, which means that this is thought to have formed 168 million years after the Big Bang. If this is true, that means this is the earliest galaxy to be formed that we know of to date, and for that to be possible, we would need to revise the standard model again to better understand the true age of the universe. The James Webb Telescope discovered early massive galaxies just a few million years after the Big Bang. This goes completely against everything we know about how galaxies formed in the beginning of our universe. Their existence is simply impossible. For this to happen and to produce these galaxies in such a short amount of time after the Big Bang, you need all the gas in the universe to turn into stars with 100% efficiency an entirely impossible task. To put it into perspective, our very own Milky Way galaxy took 13.61 billion years to form, but the James Webb Telescope found other galaxies the same as our Milky Way just a few million years after the Big Bang. So you can probably understand the baffling nature of this newly found galaxy. A discovery this significant can completely change our understanding of how the first galaxies came into being. Another discovery made by the James Webb Telescope is the presence of two merging black holes 700 million years after the Big Bang. 
All these discoveries forced the scientists to question the true age of our universe, when it came into being or if it has been into existence forever with no starting point at all. If we consider it to be of infinite size, then maybe it could be of an infinite age as well. Maybe the Big Bang was just a major event in a pre-existing universe and not really the beginning of our own. Well, as always, more research is needed in order to be certain and to truly understand the complexities of the nature of the universe we exist in. Thank you for watching.